What's up, Tim Sykes here with Jack Kellogg, the man. He has now made what, 700,000 plus in 2020? 700,000 plus in 2020. I've made 700,000 plus, we're going back and forth, but don't try to be like anybody else, just get inspired. And frankly, I'm excited because Jack not only has made a lot of money, he's totally self-sufficient, he's taking my lessons, he's taking my rules, and he's refined the process for what works best. For you, like what have you done? You know, last year you made a little over a hundred thousand. This year, seven hundred thousand. A lot of people want to do that. What's the secret? The secret is just time and preparation. And I got to see the hot market in 2017 and 2018. And then this year I came in and I just kind of waited. And when the opportunity presented itself, I was prepared. And it's the same thing with anything in life. You're not going to get it right away, but over time, you're going to be able to get it. And that's the thing, 2020 has been fantastic. And that's why I encourage you not just to learn from me, but to learn from him and learn from all traders who share everything that they do. Their wins, their losses, all their trades. Not just saying like, oh, we made 700,000 or we made you know, a few million. You gotta see all the details. You gotta pick those details apart. Learn from me, learn from him, learn from everyone who has refined because you're different than me, right? Like we do a little slightly different trades and it's all about what works best for you. How do you make that happen? How can you speed up your learning curve? What is like one tip that you can give them just to speed everything up? Because that's the biggest thing. Obviously it's a marathon, not a sprint. You can't expect so much money right away, but how do they speed up their education so that they can start, you know, really maximizing every single day? Don't hold any, don't hold on to any bags or any, luggage you need to be cutting your losses quickly and if you're holding on to one stock that's going to just completely change how you're studying and how you're learning because that stock's just going to bring you down you need to be cut out all the toxicity in your life and just focus on the good things and not the bad things focus on keep on learning how to study and you can't be holding on to stocks forever like if you are in a position right now and it's not good i want you guys to cut your loss right now and i want you to start a new chapter in your life i want you guys to start studying and I don't want you to keep holding that because odds are it's just gonna get worse and worse. Turn the page. And this is why I always say cut losses quickly. It's not just about money. It's a big psychological impact. Like if you're holding onto a stock and you're watching it, you're hoping that it comes back, and worse, sometimes it does come back and you learn the wrong lesson. Right? Like then I say like, oh, cut losses quickly. And then some people hold it four weeks, missing out on a ton of other plays, missing out on a ton of education. And then they make their money back on that one play. And then they message me and they're like, Sykes, I made 17%. You would have had me cut losses at 2%. And I'm like, but how many other missed trades did you miss while you're holding on to this just so you can have a win? Do you think people like need to have wins for like their ego and they don't think about like how to actually grow their accounts exponentially? I think people really do need to win for their ego and I think that's why a lot of people don't cut their losses. You really need to be humble in this game and I kind of came in uh, a little bit cocky and I took a lot of big losses and the PDT especially screwed in my head a little bit in the beginning. I didn't want to be taking small losses because I wanted my trades to be maximizing my account and that's just not how it, how it works. It's all about small steady growth and you want your equity curve to be nice and gradual. You don't want it to be going up and down huge swings. It it needs to be nice and gradual, small wins, small losses, and sometimes big gains. And I think it's all about, you know, getting into the groove with the process. Like whenever you message me, you're like, I made 10 grand. I'm like, don't get cocky. You know, take it one trade at a time. You recognize that there's a process. Whether you make 10 grand in a day or seven grand or even two grand, it really adds up and it starts to compound, not just in terms of money, but in terms of confidence. Like you're in year three right now, but did you start getting more and more confidence when you made your first 100,000? And now because you made your first 100,000, that gave you the confidence to go bigger and really you know, push it to try to grow faster? I don't think it was even the first 100,000 because after I made my first 100,000, I had a lull period and you can see it on my profit lead. Um, and I basically just went sideways and I was only going up, you know, 5K a month, 3K a month. I really wasn't making money, but I That's was- That's still good for a lot of people. It's still good. And I was still, but I was learning a lot more about myself and I was refining my process for when the market got hot. Then I started ex- exponentially growing because I made, you know, 20K and then I wanted to make a little bit more. Now I have more confidence. Now I made 30K, 40K. And I just kept upping my size a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then June actually ended up being my best month, just like a lot of other traders. And I made around $184,000 in one single month. And that was really me sizing up because I understood that the opportunity was there. I wasn't just sizing up 
because I just wanted to size up. I knew that I was on a good hot streak. I was making money. I was confident. My system, my strategy was working. So that's when I sized up. And right now you have the opportunity because you're watching this. Like I said, if you click the link below you and you can speed up your education, it doesn't matter when you're watching this, whether it's a, a hot market like it has been in 2020, or if you're watching this in 2021, you have the opportunity to speed up your education. That's what it's all about. Whether you make your first six or seven figures in year one, year two, year three, year five, how do you start learning? Because you know, I think too many people say like, oh, I didn't make any money today. Today sucked. You're like, I didn't make much money this month. It sucked. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, no, like you have to grow your knowledge account before you can grow your monetary account. A lot of people say like, Tim, give me one play. If I make money, then I'll study. And I'm like, it doesn't work like that. Like you have to study first. You have to prepare first. I'm here to help you. He's here to help you. And you should take all the help that you can get so that you can speed up. You have one life. You got to maximize it. I don't want you becoming a millionaire 50 years from now after wasting too many years at a job that you hate or, you know, inundated with school loans and debt. Like you got to push it now. The opportunity is now. I don't want you guys to be trading Apple, Tesla. Those stocks are no good. I want to be trading the small cap stocks, OTC stocks that are very volatile. And I will teach you guys how to trade them on the backside. I specialize on the backside after they go on their 100% runs. I'm very good at predicting when the crash is going to happen. And then when I do cover my short position, when I do get short, I like to buy it for the bounce. Um, like I talk in other videos, I, I'm really good at the number four, five, and six from Tim's Penny Stocking Framework, Seven Step Guide. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, can we link that in the, yeah, the bio? Yeah, we'll link that. The Seven Step Framework, you should learn it. And this is what I love because I'm not just here to try to create millionaires. Like I need more help teaching. I actually specialize on the front side. I'm better at going, you know, on the two or three pattern. Also the number five a little bit too. But you know, Jack like freaking nails it with his own um, refinement of my patterns. And this is what I need. I want more students who become millionaires, more students who make six figures, more students who can help others. And we all help each other. That's what this community is about. Like the community has helped you. You want to give back to the community. You know, we talk about the profits. We talk about being self-sufficient, but also low risk, right? Like your gains are so much bigger than your average losses. Your average losses are what? Like a little over 200 bucks like less yeah. than like $300. $300. So you're making six figures while risking like a few hundred dollars. You don't have to take big risks. I know a lot of short sellers, they might make a lot of money, but they're risking losing 10, 20, 30, $50,000. It's not worth it. All it takes is one bad short to really blow you up. It's happened to several short sellers. I know I don't want that for you. So again, click the link below. Just take a little something from every single transparent trader. It can only help you. It can only speed up your learning curve whether it's a hot market or a cold market, learn from what's working, learn from this guy, learn from me, and just see what works best for you. Click the link below, leave a comment too. Actually, I want everyone to support Jack too. Say congratulations, Jack, in the comments on his gains. Let's all support each other. I know there's a lot of negativity, a lot of toxic people out there. Let's be different, let's be positive, let's congratulate each other when we succeed, and that you know just makes this a better community for everybody. Congrats, man. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Study up.